Hey YouTube, it's Joanne here, and this is my second video regarding One Book July 2015 that I wanted to talk to you guys and kind of just recap where I have been from when I first started planning through what I'm using now. That's kind of what I'm going to go through in this video. And I'm not going to show any of the planners. What I will do is I am just going to put a link in the description box of a playlist. So you guys can feel free and go through and watch all of the different videos from each time that I purchased a new planner. And you could be able to see my setup and how I use them or whatever. And I'll also throw a few links down there as far as places and the links to be able to take a look at them online and purchase them if they're still available because some of them are probably not still available anymore but I wanted to kind of talk to you about the whole process and where I am now because that's going to better explain what I'm going to do for one book July so first of all I started my planning my planner history back in May of 2013. I was going back through all of my old videos and they are so funny to watch and it was only a couple of years ago. So do not judge and feel free not to laugh at me when you see some of these earlier videos. But a lot of these other planner videos are on my other channel because originally I was just using one YouTube channel, the No Fuss Accounting or No Fuss ACC TNG. First, I was just using that channel for my business videos and my planner videos, and it just really started getting confusing. And so I just moved everything over to this channel, and it has been so much happier for me on this channel with regards to my planner videos and Dollar Tree hauls and all of you lovely subscribers that I now have. So anyways, my very first planner I bought was back in May of 2013 and it was a Walmart a planner I bought from Walmart and I dubbed it my Walmart OFAX, which I thought was kind of funny. That was pretty clever on my part. And it was a day timer. It was the family plus edition of the day timers. And it was an A5 size and it was purple. So that was the first planner, and I used that for a couple of months. And then I got confident with, yes, I know I can use these planners. I really like them. Let me now get a Filofax. So my second planner was a Filofax. It was a Domino, which is kind of one of the lower-priced ones in the A5 size. And it was, again, it was purple. I loved it. It was very sturdy. It had two pen loops. Used that for quite a while. And then I also ended up purchasing a Pennybridge Filofax, which is a organizer that zips closed. So when you open it, the right side you can put your iPad on and the left side is the planner. And I used that for quite a while because I loved having my iPad with me because then I could check my Evernote. I spend a lot of time using online digital organizing too. So I liked to have that available to me while I was also planning with my paper agenda planner portion of it. So then I went and purchased a Finsbury and I went a little smaller. In the Finsbury, I don't even honestly think I used or I may have used it for like a week, but it really, I thought originally it was just too small for me. And then around the same time that I bought the Finsbury, I also purchased a Raspberry Finsbury personal size, which is even, or no, personal size was the first one I bought pocket size was the smaller one which is actually awesome for a wallet and I still have it I don't currently use it for a wallet but I did have it set up for a wallet slash coupon organizer and for you guys I will put a link to the video here for that set up for the wallets a lot of people are not aware that you can use some of these smaller filofaxes they have wallet capabilities so then after the Finsbury I took a jump and I went into the ARC planner world and I have a large eight and a half by 11 ARC planner that I got from Staples and that one I still use. It's actually at my office. I've, I've switched up what I use it for. I use it strictly for my bill, plan, my bill payment planner and uh, some type of, it has note paper in it. If I have a client meeting, I 
I bring it into my client meetings and it also has like a call log that I kind of created with my own template so I created a call log to be able to take notes if I if I'm on a phone call don't really years use that port that part of it too much that one has kind of been pushed aside it's there just for me to basically put all my builds in and I have them categorized by day if you want to see how I have that set up let me know I can show you and then I purchased online online through a Facebook group a smaller size arc planner more like a personal size which I haven't really used yet but the idea to that was I was going to set that up as a blog planner and do more of my blog slash YouTube planning inside of that notebook that never happened either so then after all that, I switched into the what I'm currently using now. Oh, well, one more thing before I bought that is I also purchased, which is not, I didn't purchase it for a planner, but I purchased it for a journal because I started watching videos on the Hobonichi journals. And if you're not familiar with the Hobonichi, just Google it on YouTube and you will find a ton of videos. It's basically a Japanese style uh, notebook that you can do daily journaling in and you can draw in it and it's it's kind of fun I created a Hobonichi a Fobin a Fobonichi out of this Miguel Ruiz soft cover notebook that I bought from Barnes and Noble I literally used that guys for nine days in September I started after Labor Day I used it for nine or ten days did not touch it again so that could be one of my options for the one book July is I could go back into that Hobonichi and just use that book for the one book July and that would be kind of hard because it's a, it's a solid book so it's not like I would have to break off separate sections for the different areas that I like to use for my planner not sure what I'm gonna do with that but I always have that so then I decided to, I came across some videos and I started getting familiar with the Midori Traveler notebooks. And it really appealed to me that number one, I didn't have rings because guys, the reason why I stopped using ring bound planners was because I'm left-handed and my hand always hits the rings. And it's very irritating to me. Even the arc planners, especially the smaller ones, the rings get in the way. So I switched up and I bought two well, I started off with one but I have two now traveler notebooks that are more of an a5 size they're called they're from chic spiral I have a ton of videos on them uh, the wide size and I use three or four uh, moleskine notebooks inside of there that are the grid I love writing on grid paper love it love it love it so the and in those videos you'll see that I use the first section for my bullet journal the middle section for my day day planning or day recap sheets and then the then the last section I use as a brain dump slash scribble notes and then I do have one more in there sometimes that is just kind of a reference my lists you know things I need to do orders I've placed online just kind of like a books I want to read TV shows I keep that in a, in a back book so I have that that I've currently been carrying around with me I honestly am not in it as much as I should and I'm kind of honestly up in the air with all of this getting my tasks in one place and it's this it's after tax season for me so it's I, I've kind of gone probably a month too late too long of trying to get all this stuff back together and now it's time for me to really get serious and I, that's why I'm so happy that one book July has come along that is about it for now that is my recap history of everything that I have used up until then please stay tuned and check my next video which I will end up putting a link right here for where I'm gonna show you my setup for one book July 2015 I am so excited and make sure you guys follow everyone else just look for the hashtag one book July 2015 and take a look at those videos and make sure you subscribe to those people you will be inspired there's a ton of people doing it through one through the month of July and I'm sure you will have a blast watching all their videos so that's it for me today guys this is Joanne from Joanne plan saying be awesome enjoy the rest of your day I'm gonna chat with you guys on my next video bye guys bye guys what am I gonna use what am I gonna use don't know what